नर्म दे हर नर्म दे हर नर्म दे हर रक्ष माम नर्म दे हर नर्म दे हर नर्म दे हर पाही माम नर्म दे हर नर्म दे हर नर्म दे हर रक्ष माम नर्म दे हर नर्म दे हर नर्म दे हर रक्ष माम ओम सहना बबतु सहनौ भुनक्तु सह वीर्यम करवावहि तेजस्वी नावधि तमस्तु मा विद्विषा वहि ओम शांति 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 bowing to god all the masters offering love to swami brahmanand ji as we are sitting on the lap of mother narmada i am bowing to mother narmada and bowing to all of you good afternoon the name or the word ganga it is not given to a particular river it can be used for any river it is a common name for all the rivers the meaning of the word ganga it is consisting of two verbs in sanskrit one is to go the other is to सिंग गम गच्छति गा गायति इति गंगा दैट व्हिच इज फ्लोइंग और मूविंग एंड कंटिन्यूअसली सिंगिंग सो एनी रिवर व्हिच इज फ्लोइंग इट इज मूविंग और गोइंग एंड इट इज आल्सो सिंगिंग in the puranic description there are three gangas one is vaishnavi ganga one is brahmi ganga the other is maheshwari ganga one is vaishnavi ganga the second is brahmi ganga the third is maheshwari ganga ganga associated with the trinity ganga associated with lord vishnu is vaishnavi ganga vaishnavi ganga is the ganga river which is in the north coming from the himalayas passing through haridwar banaras and merging in the sea in ganga sagar this is vaishnavi ganga or drivar ganga associated with lord vishnu brahmi ganga is saraswati brahmi ganga is saraswati saraswati is originally remaining in the water pot of brahma the creator and this saraswati is mostly an invisible river those who go towards badrinath can have a glimpse of 
مدر سرسوتی اے لٹل ٹریس آف سرسوتی ون کین فائنڈ نیئر کروکشیتر اینڈ ہریانہ اینڈ مینی دے سے سرسوتی از انویزیبل دوز ہو کیم ٹو اڑیسا دے مائٹ ہیو ہرڈ اباؤٹ پراچی سرسوتی سرسوتی ان دا ایسٹ سو سرسوتی از کالڈ از برامی گنگا वैष्णवी गंगा ब्राह्मी गंगा द थर्ड वन इज माहेश्वरी गंगा और गंगा एसोसिएटेड विथ लॉर्ड शिव माहेश्वरी गंगा इज नर्मदा माहेश्वरी गंगा इज नर्मदा एंड यू विल टेल व्हाइट इज कॉल्ड एज माहेश्वरी गंगा महेश्वर और लॉर्ड शिव Maheshwar is Lord Shiva and this river Narmada as we discussed in the morning is originating from the sweat of Lord Shiva, sweat of Lord Shiva and this Holy Mother Narmada served Mother, served Mother Parvati and Shiva when they were doing their penance austerity for long period of time and this Narmada being blessed by Lord Shiva or Maheshwara is considered as the holiest of holy rivers on this earth. So this is Maheshwari Ganga. As Brahmi Ganga is almost invisible. People or most of the holy people, they try to go to Ganga in the north or many people come, come to Narmada here. Walking along the bank of the river is also not a common practice associated with other rivers. Although Ganga and Yamuna in the north, on its bank there are many holy places. Many people go for pilgrimage even to the source of Ganga and Yamuna, Gomuk, Gangotri, Yamunotri, but there is no practice of walking along the bank. With my little knowledge, there are two holy rivers along with, according to the Puranic description, Parikrama, walking along the bank of the river. One is Narmada here, the other is Prachi Saraswati. Narmada Parikrama is practiced since time immemorial. Nobody can tell since when it started. It is a continuous Parikrama going on. Thousands and thousands of sincere devotees accepting hurdles, difficulties, many Nowadays, because of other facilities available, some people do parikrama with the motor car, modern times. Just like if you want to go to Kedarnath in the Himalayas, the place of Lord Shiva, nowadays you can take a helicopter and take a helicopter, go there and have darshan and come back. But the, it is not the traditional pilgrimage. In traditional pilgrimage, you have to walk, 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 walk. As I told you in the morning, when Acharya Sankara as a little boy came to meet his guru on the bank of Narmada in Onkareshwar, it took more than two months for him to walk. So, walking along the river, 
many bare foot passing through forests rocky mountainous path sometimes no place to take rest sometimes you may not have food you think hundreds of years ago why hundred think of thousands of years ago and now because of our destructive nature of destroying nature our so called modernization of exploitation of nature so called modernization is destruction of nature otherwise if you think if now we see this type of nice forest think of hundreds of years ago so people who are walking taking a pens taking hazardous journey and many they accepted the parikrama without hope that if mother narmada wants it will be complete many they go without any hope that i will come back or not at the same time there was wild animals and sometimes thieves and so on a disease and this mountainous or forest areas very good for mosquitoes it is now you will find hardly one or two mosquitoes here and there so otherwise mosquitoes which may not be so friendly however this parikrama the sadhus took and when the sadhus lived here also they lived here very hard life modern life with scientific you know development it has become very easy comfortable life in this easy comfortable life our body is becoming so much you know prone to comfort if the cushion is hard or hard floor we might feel it is uncomfortable to sit longer the body is not cooperating because we do not take care of the body the joints after little the body is aching and those who walk on foot there is a tradition where to stop where to go i have heard it takes normally 3 years 3 months and some more days not 2 weeks not 7 days prachi saraswati parikrama it is 3 years 3 months and some more days if you walk religiously or following the rules keeping the river to your right and going up to the confluence of narmada in the arvian sea then crossing and again keeping the river on the right and coming back up to this place where the place where we are sitting its name is maiki bagia what does it mean the mother's garden we are sitting in the mother's garden and who is the mother mother narmada the real source of mother narmada is not far from here the original source here before i talk a little bit more the entire planet is facing a crisis the crisis is depletion of forest destruction of forest and when forest and trees are cut down ruthlessly without any second thought given to it it is going to create all types of natural calamities irregular seasons weather pattern irregularity in rain global warming depletion of 
underground water and destruction of many species, many animals from this planet earth and so on. No one can tell what will really happen. However, we love God, we love to meditate, we want to change our inner nature and we also should be careful of outer nature because inner and outer nature, they are linked and correlated to each other. The ashram where we are sitting, this ashram was started by Swami Brahmananji. If I ask you a question, how many of you have seen Swami Brahmananji? Can you raise up your hands? Let me see. Let me count. Keep your hands up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, 19, 19 means it is nearly 25 percent approximately. How many of you have never heard of Swami Brahmananji? Can you raise up your hands? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Thank you. If so 14 of you, 18, you heard, have seen Brahmananji. 14, you have never heard of him. And the rest, you might have heard or read. So I thought it will be good to speak a little on him so that we should know that we are sitting in a place which is his dream or creation. And although he is not physically present, but we are here to materialize his dream. Who is Swami Brahmananji? Swami Brahmananji, his pre-monastic name was Satyendra Nath Rai, born in Bengal, spent closer to his end of teenage, not even complete, up to 16, 17 in Bengal and rest of his life he spent mostly in Odisha. Very humble, disciplined, God-loving and devoted to Gurudev, a loving disciple of Gurudev. He worked in Odisha, lived in very organized and disciplined life throughout. And he was working in the education department in government of Odisha. We especially when I'm sitting, I'm, we too came to know about each other since I came to Gurudev. He was quite a few years before initiated by Gurudev. Initially he was initiated by one Yogacharya, then he came to Gurudev and Gurudev liked him. And as he was working in education department and later on I was working so we both had long vacations. So many times we spent vacations together. He had many siblings. He took care of his family till, uh, so to say, his father's departure, his other brother's marriage, sister's marriage, he took most of the responsibilities of the family. 
and he he was very sincere in his meditation very particular this time to meditate means this time to meditate i will tell one humorous example his life was so, so organized suppose this is afternoon 4 o'clock he will go to restroom 4 o'clock means 4 o'clock he went to europe and the time changed when the time changed at same at 4 o'clock he will go to toilet one day out of phone we asked are you really getting motion or you are going he said look you get motion or you do not get motion stick to your time once you go and sit down there after two days the body will obey your command so four o'clock he will go to toilet then wash then take little snack then go for little walk come back and meditate like this he had a very typical lifestyle and he also came to west for few years every year for few months to europe to north and south america once brahmanand ji came to me he told at that time this ashram of this thing was not in his head he was not brahmanand ji i was not this so he came to me and he told you know now it is this job is becoming too difficult for me he told so we sat down and discussed a lot so because we loved each other we decided that we will find a place where we both could live that was our dream or plan so i told okay let us do one thing i have some saving we will start one ashram at jagatpur katak you take early retirement because he had already worked at that time for nearly 28 years 28 years of work because he started working very early so you take early retirement we'll finish in the meantime this ashram you come and stay here and then slowly i will take retirement so we we'll live together meditate study that was our plan so he took retirement he came and stayed with me at that time gurudev was staying in raurkela he wanted to go to raurkela i have taken decision that it was my thought that i will not accept these clothes i will not go abroad and i will not teach teach means like this so this this was my thought and he was also following me so however when he wanted to go to calcutta raurkela i told look if you are going there never tell gurudev that you have left your job he because it is very interesting gurudev had very typical you know interaction suppose if anybody will ask gurudev baba i want to come to you baba will tell no need to come stay at your home meditate and if you come there gurudev will say i'm so happy to see you <laughs> then gurudev will tell ask how long are you going to stay gurudev would ask so i trained brahmanand ji i told look if gurudev would ask how long are you going to stay you will stay you will say for few days if you ask anything about your job you just keep quiet <laughs> don't open your mouth i you know i gave him training but i was not a good trainer <laughs> he went there whatever i told gurudev asked him and he was you know so sweet and so open minded he t- told truth 
the next day Gurudev changed his color. <laughs> the next day Gurudev changed his color. He sent information to me. I could not follow you. Now my name is going to be changed. <laughs> he became Swami Brahmachari Brahmananda. He became Brahmachari Brahmananda. Brahmananji, before Gurudev allowed him to initiate, Gurudev told me to initiate. He was quite a few years older than me. He was initiated much before me. But Gurudev told me to initiate. I was denying, then I agreed. If there is some initiation, he was so humble. He will arrange everything. The flowers, the lamps, everything for initiation and he will sit down in a very humble way. And Gurudev told him to give some talks. And he was, you know, he was not such a talking Swami. He would talk very little, few sentences, he would smile, he would love to sit quietly and meditate. He would like to guide meditation, but to give a talk, you can think is a big punishment for him. <laughs> Once we all were together in a public program in West. So I know he will not give talk. Some people asked, why the other Swami is not talking? I told, look, people are telling you, you should talk. So he took the microphone. He said, my name is Brahmananda. My name is Brahmananda. Brahma means absolute. Ananda means bliss. So I am always in bliss. So this much I can tell. He gave the microphone. <laughs> Once I told, look, you can memorize some Sanskrit verses. So he said, what shall I do? When I'm holding books, I'm getting sleep. When I'm holding books, I am feeling sleepy. And how to memorize and give a talk? Very sweet, loving Swami. And exactly I do not know how he thought of coming to this place but later on I heard that he has found a nice place and he wants to build a small, you know, house. And Swami Atmavidyananji, when he was not Swami, he came here, stayed here for months in the beginning. And because he was also an engineer, he supervised the construction work and that construction work is hidden in this construction or under this construction which was built by him. He came for a couple of weeks for few years staying here meditating. Some disciples from nearby Areas nearby towns were coming to him, coming with him, meditating and going back. So his last coming to this place was also 2006, I think in the month of March. And from here he went back to Bhopal, Bhopal to Chennai. Then he was sick and he came, he was 59 plus. He was 59. So he came to Bhuvaneswar where he left his body. So coincidentally, this year is the 10th anniversary of his departure. This year is the 10th anniversary 2006-2016. So 10th anniversary of his departure. And he was, you know, 
because he traveled far and wide in India a lot and he was a very good instrument of Gurudev to spread the message of Kriya Yoga throughout India during those days because during those days we were hardly countable teachers in fingers. He was in India, we were abroad. So this is the place which Brahmananji dreamt of and in 2000, 2011 I think, 2011 because some part of that old structure was not well built. So we decided that to rebuild a little bit more so that in his memory. So that thought of rebuilding and took this shape. I also did not come to this place during lifetime of Brahmananji. I came to this place after his physical departure first time to have a sadhu bhandara. Sadhu bhandara means feeding the sadhus lunch or dinner for the sadhus on some special occasion. So after his departure because local sadhus knew him so to have a sadhu bhandara we came and he also came, we came together. So that was my first coming. It was in April 2006, I came first time. If then 2011 was my last year. And this year I have come here two times, in February and March. I'll tell a few st stories from life of Brahmananji because human life is very short, human memory, we forget. So during, because 2006, April Brahmananji left his body, April 1st. 2006, May, we had the beginning of centenary of Gurudev. So throughout the year, we had program. So during that centennial year, we published a small book. You can read that book. It is a small book. My brother, Swami Brahmananji. It was written very fast, very quickly to, to commemorate his 60th birth anniversary, which was in 2007. 2007, February 8th. At the same time, Gurudev's centenary. So, you know, when we live together, there is, if you are alone, there is problem with your own mind. If you are together, problem among or between each other. So, when from two you become three or four or five or six, Sometimes there will be little problem. If you are alone, problem within. If you are few together, problem outside. Because inside is exposed near others. Whether it is our weakness or our strength, goodness or our bad quality, it is known to others. When people know each other's good quality or if we have positive attitude, we ignore negative thing. We move on with positive thing. If our mind is not properly trained with negative things, we, oh, he sees this, he is this, she did that, he did that. A true spirit of spiritual life, wherever we go, our presence should bring joy, happiness and love. It is the true spirit of spiritual life. And if we live spiritual life, our presence will imbibe spiritual thirst in others, spiritual impetus in others. If 
we are living a spiritual life otherwise you know dirty mind plays all types of tricks brahmanan ji wrote a letter to gurudev brahmanan ji wrote a letter to gurudev so at that time he was you know like one open book whatever he felt he wrote and the letter was quite little bit you can say uh, very tough one because of some happening during those days in late 70s early 80s some problems in ashram brahmanan ji wrote in bengali because he was often writing in bengali to write gurudev bengali is better and whenever he was writing me he was writing in odia so he wrote with a question mark master masair anko kosai ki bhula che the meaning is has the teacher committed a mistake in solving a mathematical problem indirectly he asked gurudev have you taken a wrong decision look here is a this is very interesting gurudev did not gurudev would not tell anybody anything he suppose he is sitting here in the and all are sitting brahmanand is sitting there i am sitting here so we all are sitting he would look at others and he will not look at him he will say yes 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 teacher has committed mistake in mathematics teacher has committed mistake in calculations oh god you can't imagine poor brahmanand is condition he would come and it was nice that he used to tell everything to me he would do you know why did i write this to baba i am so foolish i wrote it and every time baba is telling this gurudev was at raurkela brahmanand ji came because i was working at that time at raurkela brahmanand ji came to spend few days with gurudev with both her sitting so brahmanand ji has kept short beard gurudev looked at him he said you stand up he stood up why you have kept beard why you have kept beard go go immediately clean shave so he stood up and i also stood up i followed him <laughs> because i know he is shocked he is telling look you have beard i had short beard and i have beard he did not tell anything to you he told me i said look i have got already license you have not got license follow him so i save it i said yes i save it so immediately he went and he said and he came back he said oh now you look good you know brahmanand ji was bald headed in this photo you see here he has a cap he was bald from his quite young age and she was you're not using cap or anything she was bald headed right so once i made a phone of him i said do you know in sanskrit there is a proverb kuchit khalwata nirdhana rarely a bald headed man is poor you have lot of money or no rarely a bald headed man is poor then he told do you know i am that rare person <laughs> because i knew his you know when we were working i knew his financial condition so brahmanand ji brahmanand ji and me we two together most of people thought that we are two brothers that's why i wrote my brother brahmanand we had uniform dress normally during the birthday of gandhi in india i don't know nowadays there was discount of 
खदी ड्रेस खदीज खदी गांधीन ड्रेस इज नट हैंडलूम इट इज हैंड ओवन बट वेरी थिक कटन हैंड स्पिनिंग हैंड ओवन गांधीन क्लोथ्स एंड थर्टी फाइव परसेंट डिस्काउंट यू कैन इमेजिन यूजुअली दोज आर एक्सपेन्सिव बट थर्टी फाइव परसेंट डिस्काउंट सो व्हाट आई डू आई बाय ए लॉट टू बी यूज फॉर द होल इयर एंड आई यूज टू बाय फॉर हिम ऑल्सो सो वी हैड सेम पैटर्न ऑफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल सेम बॉर्डर बट वी नेवर मिस्ड विथ इज अदर क्लोथ we washed we dry but his clothes there my clothes here so we had same pattern of clothes same style of t-shirt and the difference was i had beard he didn't have beard and we both if gurudev is there he did not dare to enter gurudev's room alone he would keep me in the front he will stay in the back so if gurudev's room is closed i will knock if gurudev opens he will see me first and then him <laughs> and like this we shared the same room in ashram and during those days there was no afternoon snack no afternoon food morning breakfast was you can imagine it this bowl of popped rice that's all that was the breakfast i was asking the other day peter baba that in kodar ashram when you came in early 70s what was your breakfast he said there was no breakfast only lunch and dinner in 70s in 80s this bowl of puffed rice that was breakfast and me it is okay i manage i tolerate hunger a lot poor brahmanand ji he wants a little of this little of this he and later on if you would have come if you would have been here in his room below his bed there were uh, containers of some puffed rice some crispy snack some peanuts some <laughs> so anybody came many people went to his room just to have little bit of <laughs> it was he was like this so when we shared the room and i always kept some biscuits during those days i was taking biscuit now it is no uh, thin arrowroot thin arrowroot biscuit and some crispy stuff sometimes some puffed rice so usually he used to take some tiffin or snacks we two together went to many ashrams in puri we two together walk to the sea shore when gurudev is not there so we had such loving friendship loving uh, and sometimes during those days if i was little bit unhappy he was my inspiration he used to say. so i thought it will be good to tell a little bit about him because we are sitting in a place which is associated with such sweet memory of brahmanand ji and this place was started by him and till now even if 10 years have passed after his departure many people in central india in south india remember him so much because of his love simplicity love for gurudev and his meditation so now let us come back to narmada in the mahabharata there is a description the pandavas led by yudhishthira during the period of exile came to this place while passing through this thick dense forest inhabited by 
you know tigers bears and while coming you might have seen it, there is wildlife sanctuary it is said tiger nowadays you can't see tiger but there are before i came here somebody told me be careful you are going to tiger area so i asked who told it is tiger area he said brahmanand ji told that in his young age he went for hunting tiger <laughs> there is story of brahmanand ji going for hunting you know this brahmanand ji in his late teenage when he started his job he started his job in the border area of this this state in odisha in kolahandi at that time he was going he himself was not going for hunting but there was a team he was at that time that brahmananda so he said brahmanand ji was talking of tiger so i said that there is no tiger nowadays and tigers are scared of human beings so there was a con- so there is there is a conference of tigers in conference of tigers the tigers were talking of their predicament their misery it's true the tigers are in trouble you know in china people eat tiger the kill tiger they so however i'll tell one real incident which happened in kotak it was maybe in the year 1993 it, because before i went abroad this thing happened in kotak early in the morning about 5:30 or 6 o'clock in kotak town one gentleman opened the door to bring the newspaper because the newspaper hawkers they throw the newspaper like this into your courtyard when he opened the door and to pick up the newspaper he found a tiger rushing into his house tiger and he could not understand what is going on the tiger went into the house and finding nowhere to hide found a bathroom and being in the bathroom it was really shivering out of fear this man had a little bit of presence of mind he closed the bathroom's door and telephoned the forest department the forest department people came and took the tiger away it was wild tiger outskirts of bhubaneswar in chandaka area there are, there are tigers so by mistake a tiger has come out and it was foggy it lost its way and came to the highway you know highway the vehicles are going and the tiger might have come running into the town and this was his condition this is what happening to wildlife everywhere i think and especially in india so there was a conference of tigers in the conference of tigers the tigers were discussing about their trouble so one tiger told that it is better to stay in zoo then remain free in the forest because at least in zoo we can get our food and we are away from the atrocity of human beings towards us one tiger said yes what you are telling is fine but is it not good to keep the human beings in the zoo <laughs> the story ends the purpose of telling this we the human beings we the human beings we think that we only will live and when we you forget i selfish human being always thinks of his or own selfish motive not thinking of we and we includes not we the humans we the entire creation human beings have the ability human beings have the ability to protect to preserve and to beautify this earth beautify this creation completely we all have it has two meanings my inner nature i have the ability to change and transform my own mind own thinking 
own ego, own emotion, own you know power politics, all these dirty things which I have, I can eliminate, I can make my life really beautiful, humble, submissive, serving, caring, not that showing that I am, what I am telling is right, others should follow me, no. In the Vedic prayer it is said, Sam Gatsadham, Sam Badadham, let we walk together, let we speak together, let we sit together, let we sing together, let we meditate together, this togetherness. The ancient Rishis, they lived such a beautiful life, they did not destroy nature. Not far away from here, there is a small hut where a sadhu lives. Sometimes I went to him, he likes at least Prajnananda, maybe not everybody. <laughs> so, he was telling that if you see, if these forests or the trees are protected, it is because of the sadhus living here. If the sadhus would not have been living here, these tall trees which we see here would not have been here. Yesterday while coming, our local Yogacharya from Chhattisgarh who was accompanying me, he was a very senior official from government of Chhattisgarh. I was talking that how beautiful it would have been, forest would have been well preserved. We were talking while coming. However, when Yudhishthira came and he found one ashram. If possible, tomorrow while going, somebody will show you where that ashram was. It was the ashram of Sesh Markandeya. Sesh Markandeya was born from a Rishi. His father's name was Murkandu. And the parents knew that this boy has a very short life and because they knew the short life and they knew the date of his death. So they told this boy, look, if you want long life, you worship Lord Shiva. I don't want to make this story longer. He prayed to Lord Shiva and got a long span of life. Among the Chiranjivis, long living humans, he is one among them. So it was his ashram which Yudhishthira did not know. He saw it is an hermitage. It is a hermitage and Rishi is meditating. Others are chanting. Some are doing the fire ceremony. So Yudhishthira went, bowed down and sat in a distance because the Rishi was meditating. And he heard that this is says Markandeya and Markandeya has lived through many ages, many cycle of creation has gone, come and gone, come and gone, but he is still living. So Yudhishthira bowed down and wanted to know the significance of this place. So Markandeya described the glory of Mother Narmada and her birth, her movement and her beauty and sanctity of this place, not only this place, wherever Narmada is going. So, Sage Markandeya said that he was instructed by Lord Shiva to meditate here and not only to meditate here, to meditate on Narmada and with the name Reva. I told you in the morning, one, one of her favorite names is Reva. How many names you do, do you have? You will tell, how many names you have? One, five. So how many names you have? Eight. So, in the, you know, Vedic tradition, we have thousands of name of the Lord, thousands of name. So, 
वन नेम अफ मदर नर्मदा इट्स रेवा रेवा इज क्राइंग और कलिंग क्राइंग और कलिंग इफ सी इज मदर वी आर वी आर द चिल्ड्रेन सी इज द मदर एंड वी आर द चिल्ड्रेन हियर इज ए भेरी सिम्बलिक बर भेरी डायनामिक लिंक इफ वी वांट टू ग्रो अप If we want to grow up spiritually, we have to maintain a link, a relationship. Relationship with God, relationship with God's creation, and the sadhus here, they love Narmada like anything. They, I don't know if you have heard in the morning, some people were walking and chanting, Narmade Hara, Narmade Hara. Narmade Hara, they were chanting and walking. Lady Jane's walk on foot. I'll conclude the talk today with one real incident which happened to a sadhu. Sadhu was quite young. He was walking along this Narmada. You know human mind. When he was walking in a group, there was one young lady. She was quite beautiful, attractive, and he got attracted towards her. In his mind, he was thinking, "If I can get her company, walking, normal da parikrama, a sadhu." But this is in his mind, and then while walking, at some place he fell down. He injured his head. He had profuse bleeding, and he was unconscious. And when he became conscious, he found his head on the lap of this young lady. On the lap of this young lady, and she is nursing him like a loving mother. This brought so much of change in him, with so much of. in a remorse and that brought complete transformation in the life of this sadhu he became a very famous sadhu walking on the bank of narmada and he told mother narmada changed my life changed my mind changed my attitude i can't say what narmada has given to me here i'll tell another story almost similar swami vivekananda met a monk in the himalayas this monk was quite well elevated and having lots of spiritual attainment and in course of conversation this monk very openly told that i was a thief i was a thief thief becoming a monk and being a monk with so much of spiritual attainment swami vivekananda could not believe he said how come then vivekananda was told by this monk he said do you know i went to steal unfortunately in the cave of a monk and the monk was living in a mud cave pauhari baba he was pauhari baba was a very prominent sadhu during the time of swami vivekananda old monk in uttar pradesh gajipur area he was living so when he went to steal the sadhu was awake and he was to steal his water pot nothing else not a big deal of stealing and when he saw the sadhu and started running the sadhu holding the water pot and telling this is your water pot take it this is your water pot take it this incident brought change in the life of the thief the thief became a sadhu not only a sadhu he became really advanced in spiritual life turning point in the life of these people one i told these two stories 
one which happened on this bank of Narmada, the other which happened in the life of a thief. My question to all of us, can we not make this retreat really a turning point in our life? Real turning point of inner transformation. I will not go back to my old habits, old thinking, old mind. We have come to such a holy place. Many of you are observing silence, meditating and living in this serene atmosphere where since time immemorial sadhus, holy people, householders, rishis, celestials, even the asuras meditating. So we will not be like asuras, we will be God in human being, changing our life, changing our lifestyle, changing our attitude and being really a good model, not only for myself, me, myself as a model for myself, but also for others. Let us try. Close your eyes. Again, I would like to chant Narmada Ashtakam, which we chanted, I chanted in the morning. It is written by Acharya Sankara, eight verses in honoring Mother Narmada. Savindu bindu suskalat taranga prungaranjitam Dvisatsu papa jata jata kari vari sanyutam Krutanta duta kala bhuta bhiti hari varmade Todiya pada pankajam namami devi narmade Todambuli nadi nami nadi pyasam pradayakam Kalau malau ghavar hari sarvatir thanayakam Sumatsa katsa nakra chakra baka chakra sharma de Todiya pada pankajam namami devi narma de Mahagabhira nira pura pata dhuta bhutalam Namat samasta pata kari dari tapa dachalam Jagatla e mohavae mrukanda su nu harmya de Todiya pata pankajam namami devi narma de Gatam tadaiva mevayam todambu dikshitam yada Mrukandu sunu sauna kasurari sevitam sada Punar bhavabdhi janma sansara sambhavabdhi vadukha varmade Todiya pada pankajam namami devi narmade Alaksha laksha kinna rama rasura di pujitam Sulaksha nira tira dhira pakshi laksha kujitam Basista sista pippaladi kardama di sarma de Todiya pada pankajam namami devi narma de Sanat Kumara Nachi Keta Kasya Patri Satpadai Dhrutam Sokiya Mana Sesu Naradadi Satpadai Rabinduranti Deva Deva Raja Karma Sharma De Todiya Pada Pankajam Namami Devi Narma De Alaksha Laksha Laksha Papa Laksha Sara Sayudham Natastu jiva jantu tantu bhukti mukti dayakam Birinci Vishnu Sankara Sokiya Dhamma Varmade Todiya Pada Pankajam Namami Devi Narmade 
अहोध्रुत श्रुत महेश केश जातटे करात सुत बाड़वेशु पंडित सठे नटे दुरंत पाप ताप हारी सर्व जंतु शर्म दे तो दी अपाद पंकज नमस्ते देवी नर्मदे इदम तो नर्मदाष्टक त्रिकाल में ये सदा पठंती ते निरंतर नयांती दुर्गति कदा सुलभ्य देह दुर्लभम महेश धाम गौरव पुनर्भवान रानकयती रौरव श्रीमत्शंकराचार्य विरचित श्री नर्मदाष्टक संपूर्ण लेट मदर नर्मदा गुरुदेव ब्लेस ऑल ऑफ हस विथ डीप लव डिवोशन एंड स्पिरिचुअल अपलिफ्टमेंट ओम आम उल चैन टुगेदर पूर्णमद ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति शाति शाति